hey what's up everybody in today's video uh, we'll be constructing this activity feed in our admin panel so uh, whenever user makes any changes it will be reflected on activity feed so we'll be using uh, this package spacy laravel log to uh, log all of the users activity and display it on our admin panel uh, in uh, view admin panel so since we are using beautify and uh, so we'll be utilizing one of the component uh, on beautify like this timeline component which will display the activity logs like so all right so let's get started so first off we'll pull in pull in this package composer require so once that is done in my case i've already installed so so once that is done we'll need this uh, activity log table uh, where it will store all the logs so for that we need migration so the way we generate migration is uh, publish this and it will generate the migration file so let's go to uh, uh, just create it table so inside database migrations create activity log table so let's migrate it php artisan migrate okay so this is uh, activity log ta uh, table that is just created okay after migration we can publish config file to alter some config variable all right so so here what we'll do is we'll log uh, modal events like when some model is created altered so we want to uh, track those changes and display on activity log so uh, if we want to track uh, like for example some model we need to use this trait there so uh, in our case we got so we got user model let's use here so yeah suppose if admin creates or any other user so we'll track changes to user table for now so if in future we got any other table we'll uh, use this thread as well so logs activity that's it and here if you want to uh, just log certain attributes you can use like this so you can put log attribute like this or if you want to uh, log sorry so we can do log fillable true that will uh, do log fillable okay so if we do log fillable true it will log all the fillable attributes like that changes to these attributes okay that's it and now mm, let's change something and see if it logs on user table all right so so temporary i will disable that authorization i'll just return true so let's make change here like web tab 2 and let's save it change uh, let's see activity log table activity log table yeah so first one is user created and then update it okay so default subject id is the user causer id causer type so if you can see here it is not logging who caused uh, these changes so uh, in documentation we need to use this uh, it is uh, said said that we need to use this trait to our user model okay so in our case uh, the causer id is null because if we see our api routes so whenever we make any change in our admin panel like suppose we change this thing so it is sending ajax to these end endpoints on api.psp so this uh, uses uh, the api driver so 
we cannot uh, use like that or if you want want to do that we need to go to config and activity log config activity log and we need to define here we need to define our driver so our driver will be like config auth so here uh, there are two kind of drivers like token or session basically web or api so since uh, we are not using our token based uh, authentication for our admin panel uh, we are just uh, using the normal session based so whenever user try to visit admin we uh, redirect them to login page so after only after login we direct them to this so since our um, all our routes are session based uh, it is not good idea to put on this api so what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, put these route on separate uh, file let's create another file at the same location where routes api is so let me duplicate this thing and let's call it admin yeah let's just call it admin so admin.php inside routes admin okay so i'll get rid of these okay we need to remove it from here because we already put it on admin.php so now our uh, route not defined 404 now we will register these route in route service provider so like map api route we'll create another one like map admin routes admin mm, okay let's leave it api for now so middleware will be will be using web middleware and route admin.php for now that's it for so in, if in future we will we want to make api we will change this prefix to something else like okay for now just put it api uh, and if in future if you want to create other route uh, like api routes we will change it to something else let's change it to api main for now yeah okay so after defining that we need to call that on map function like map admin routes okay so no errors and our routes are working and now if we make any changes like updated new user and let's save it there we go now let's see activity log there we go so now this time we got causer id we will cause this change so other corrupted data let's remove now our logging part is done uh, next we uh, we need to set up the endpoint so that we can get all data related to activity for that we'll need a controller so let me create php artisan make controller activity controller and here we'll create a method named yeah, let's call it index which will index all the activities of particular user all right so mm, can do auth user activity so it's not activity it's actions so it will return all the actions of this user so let's return that and see what we got and we need to define that route on admin.psp activity controller so now let's uh, let's hit that endpoint activities there we go so we get uh, this and uh, this kind of data structure like log name description and yeah actually the models 
that are changed by actually all the activities related to that user particular user so now we'll use this endpoint to fetch all data and display it uh, using this component so let's go to our code and so first I will go to routes.js I think we have put that on app.js so currently all routes are inside here and let's define a new route admin activities activities let's import or uh, let's create that activities and let's create that component inside phases resources chase pieces okay so here we'll create new view component named activities so here let's test first admin slash activities so that component is loading and let's use okay let's copy this timeline okay behind the scenes i have set up this activities uh, component with this layout which looks like uh, look like this okay so here uh, currently there is dummy data will populate with uh, data from this endpoint in inside script so currently we we got our uh, dummy data will pull in when component is created so we'll do uh, the axios get let's call it activities so that will be the array activities activities activity let's have this color option key is fine template so we'll uh, display text as so this will be the time of uh, created at time created at and this will be oh no let's just put a uh, description so activity dot so after we got data response dot data will assign that to activities response dot data okay so in uh, controller uh, we are loading actions so we also load this relationship called causer so which you can find inside activity model inside this here is our relationship defined called causer which will load this causer so name of that so that we can display here we update it okay let's go to activities start view and here we'll display like acti uh, type okay so that's pretty basic uh, activity feed and I will see you in the next video. Bye.